My friends, good to see you back and uh, today we'll do something really sophisticated and I'm afraid my vegetarian friends, they will suffer a little bit today. Have a look. Bracciola al sugo. Organic beef filled with nice secret things that after this video are no longer secret. And you got it right, it's called Bracciole, Bracciole al Sugo. It's a recipe that comes originally from the Puglia region and I have slightly adapted it my style. Come closer and let's see what we need for this. So uh, the heart of the Bracciole will be basically the, the beef meat, very thin slices of um, beef that we will uh, fill and roll and fry in our standard tomato sugo. So what we will need? For the filling, we will use a little bit of garlic, of course. We will also add some of the mustard here inside, as well as uh, pine nuts, um, uvetta, raisin. raisin, yes, exactly, a few olives, a little bit of parsley, and our pecorino romano. I will also add a little drop of honey, it will make a difference. And so we will um, add this into these um, meat slices, beef slices. Ah, and also, very important, we will also add a few pieces of this uh, Salamino Picante from Basilicata region. Uh, I got those as a present from my, uh, from my beautiful, nice cousin, Maria Teresa, so thank you for that. And so once this is um, rolled, we will um, slightly fry them for just a very few minutes and then put them into the sugo and let them cook at very low flame for about three to four hours. And so um, regarding the sugo, we will um, do the standard procedure. We will fry an onion together with a um, sage leaf, a little bit of um, our peperoncino, of course some, um, some basil homegrown will also be there and we will add some uh, salt and um, then add our passata. Okay, so this has a long preparation time for dinner, so we will start now at uh, 4 o'clock. First step is I will add a little bit of pepper on uh, both sides of the meat. Yeah. I will also add some salt. We got here salt from uh, Utah. I have a selection of international salt types, so this is one from Utah. Let's see how this will taste like. Both sides. There we go. I will then add a little stripe of, um, of mustard and I noticed this is, <laughs> this is a fresh one, so um, I will first have to, um, to open it here. Yeah. There we go. And let's see what will come out here. Yeah, this is good. I will um, also take a knife so I can spread it over the meat, like this. It's like if you put some Nutella on your bread. Similar process. There we go. Next step is I will uh, cut the garlic in small pieces and will add a few pieces of garlic inside. Attention as usual not to cut your fingers. Okay, I managed this process well. There we go, not too much and not too little. We will add some of these um, raisins, a few of these um, pine nuts. There we go. Also, some um, parsley. Okay, and uh, let me think, what did we miss? Oh yes, the olives. I would say one olive will do the job, we will cut it into small pieces. So as I said before, the recipe originally comes from um, Puglia region and I have added a few more ingredients such as the raisins or the olives. And last but not least, we will also add a few pieces of um, the salsiccia from a nice cousin from Basilicata. So not too much, not too little, but a few of these pieces cut into small pieces will make a nice difference. Perhaps like this. 
Okay, and the final touch will be a little shot of honey. This will really add some value. And so now comes a little tricky part. We will have to roll it. I first roll it at the side in this direction. This will help to avoid that the filling will come out. Then I will roll it this way and add also one or two toothpicks to um, make sure that um, the roll will be kept together. Let's see how it works. Yeah, it looks already pretty good. Yes, 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 I think we will get there. So I will add one. Of course, later when you eat this, make sure you take them out. And two. And so next step is we will do the other parts and fry them for very few time, perhaps two or three minutes in this olive oil. Not sure if I mentioned that we need our, our godfather, the olive oil. And we will also add a little shot of um, wine, red wine. You may choose your preferred red wine. I have uh, taken today Chianti. And then we will add the tomato passata. Okay, my friends, major part has been reached. The biggest milestone actually, the um, bracciole have been filled and rolled. And uh, you actually missed the part when I added also the pecorino romano. It's now inside. And the uh, next step is we will um, turn on the plate. First on high flame, later on low flame. Add a little bit of our godfather, best friend, the olive oil. And uh, we will soon fry these bracciole inside. Meanwhile, I already prepare um, for the sugo, I will just cut a little bit of um, this golden onion into a small pieces and um, we will fry those onions together with the olive oil and with the bracciole. The bracciole should not fry too long, only a few minutes, two to three, and the remaining time they will be cooking inside uh, the tomato sugo. So um, let's start with this. I will also add a few um, pieces of this nice uh, sage leaf from my garden and uh, later on uh, the basil. Okay, so you see the onions have started frying. Now the time to add the bracciole. We will quickly fry them and then add the tomato sugo, the passata to create our sugo. Let's see if they will all match. If not, I will make some space. Somehow we will get them all in. Okay, so you see, they have started frying the bracciole, and I will now quickly do a very slow, <laughs> quickly slow, no, quickly fast um, but short um, red wine shower. Cool down a little bit, and uh, it's now also the time when we can add the passata, and the remaining time it will cook nice in this uh, tomato passata. There we go. Attention, attention, camera. I will also add a few of these um, basil leaves. There we go. And perhaps um, two to three pieces of our homegrown uh, chili. There we go. Ah, my friends, we're almost there. Have a look, have a look. It's slowly cooking now. On low flame, it's really important on low flame. I may perhaps add a little bit of salt, but that's really it. The work has been done. We just need to wait for about three to four hours and then we are ready to eat. Mm. Okay, after about three hours, three and a half hours of cooking, let's see how we are doing. Oh yes, yes, the smell is extremely good, yes. They seem to be already nice and soft and um, I think I will have to do a quality check. And so I got here my uh, bread from uh, Basilicata. It's now seven or eight days old but still fresh and uh, let's see how we're doing. Really good, really, really good and tasty. Mm -hmm. I think we can move on now. Bracciola al sugo. Organic beef filled with nice secret things 
that after this video are no longer secret. Okay my friends, so I yeah, hope you enjoyed this video as usual down there in the description you will feel, find all the ingredients and uh, also feel free to, uh, to, to like this video if you like it. Uh, feel free also to follow my channel because there will come many, many and I say really many more videos uh, at least once per week, maybe twice per week and uh, one appetito. Let's see. The big moment. Oh. Wow, I don't even need a knife. Look at this, how soft they are. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Incredibly soft. Mmm. Yeah, I highly recommend you to cook this dish according to the recipe in this video. Mm. Also some scapetta. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> and that's of mine.